what is up guys central texas eas here and today guess what i'm back we're gonna be doing a vacuum video today on a brand new vacuum cleaner that i bought i actually ordered it yesterday and it came in today believe it or not so you sure you see the title already here's what we got we got ourselves a sanitaire that's brand new i've never actually tried a brand new one and so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try it we're gonna both unbox it together and we're gonna see how it is so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up Go ahead and do this. Kind of excited to do this here. All right. Hopefully you guys can see it here. All right. First thing I do is open the box. Pretty nice. Say SC679K. All right, so first thing I'm going to pull on is the bag. Wow, that's actually a nice feeling bag. There's our bag here. It says, just like an old Eureka bag. Which I think that's what these originally derived from was Eureka. It's our owner's manual. Wow, this thing is actually nice. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out the handle pieces. There's our handle piece. Man, that is really nice. How about that? Pull our other one here. Another piece. And here is the motor base. Look at that. Now that, that is basically just a Eureka. And again, they derived from Eureka. All right, and here's our hardware we got to put it together. Wow, that is really nice actually. Holy cow. Okay, this is one of the brush rolls it's got in. It's got like these blue brush rolls. I don't think I've seen one like that. Let's take a look at the bottom here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just like a Eureka. Well, it basically is. Look at that. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. Brand new. How about that? I like it. Came with the belt already installed. Some do and some don't. I'm gonna put this back on here. funny that you would think that this was just a regular vacuum cleaner back in the day now it's basically considered a commercial vacuum All right. and this thing's got apparently gotten a long core too wow this thing's really nice actually very nice very nice indeed let's go ahead and we'll start putting it together here typical eureka i would assume yes indeed Right, so let's go ahead and undo this and yes we are going to be trying this out i'm actually pretty excited to do this i've never actually had a newer sanitaire i've had an older one i don't know if i've said that already it was an sc886 but never have had a newer one i also heard that these clips can break okay what's kind of screwed that we're going to need i got a flathead right here all right so let's go ahead and we'll put that on there this. Move this out the way. Right, let's go ahead and let's assemble the handle. Now, there is a certain way that this goes on. So I'm going to line that up. Yeah, that looks right. Put one side in here. Yeah, this is actually a pretty nice vacuum cleaner. And I think what I might do later on is also uh, get the disposable bag and probably make it a HEPA setup. But this shakeout's okay for right now, just to try it out. Let's put the handle on. Just like a Eureka. And again, Sanitaire did derive from Eureka. I think the I think Electrolux bought it, I think AB Electrolux or something like that bought it. And then they just kind of kept the design. It's actually very nice. But you can still kind of get a an older style looking vacuum cleaner. Now, this is a direct air machine. Meaning that the it has a fan that the dirt passes through and then it blows into the bag. So you kind of got to be careful when it comes to using these. Is you don't want to really suck up anything hard with them we're talking like coins bigger rocks and stuff 
you know, you don't want to do that because you can break the fan. And so that's what we're not going to do. And also, I don't want to strip this out either. Flatheads are the best way to go, I think. So let's go ahead and let me put a Phillips head in there. All right, let's see. Maybe I'll get some more leverage. It's kind of loose. It's actually not too bad, actually. We'll just put it just a little bit more. Yeah, I don't want to tighten it no more than that because it might. I don't want to end up stripping it out. Let's try the flathead one more time. I just want to make sure it's tight. It's kind of loose, but maybe that's just how they are. I don't want to over tighten it. Yeah, no. I'm not going to tighten it no more than that. So now, these hooks. Now, I think. They go on, yeah, I see how they go. It says here, that might be the top one. It's, that appears to be so. so. Let's go ahead and we'll you know, put that on there. Can't really nice to say, not breaking it. And there it is, nice. I think that's the right way. At least it looks like it. No, that's backwards, but we can always take it off. I think. No, I think that's right. What is it? Are those going the back? Yes, they do. Huh? Silly me. Okay, we got the hooks on. So I forgot to put the cord through there, which is no big deal. They came right back off. So let's go ahead and install the bag here. I like that clip. I think it just, wow, that thing goes on there real nice. Let's go ahead and look at the top. Top of the hook here. Always newer stuff, I'm gonna be careful. I don't wanna break these deals because I do know that these clips have been known to break here. All right, let's go ahead and we'll plug it up and we'll try it out. All right, let's go ahead and dry this thing for the first time here. interesting to see how this thing does with this kind of brush roll. Guys, that is my brand new sanitary. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content.